I think anybody can run one store. I, I don't think there's any magic to, to, to do in business, but I'll tell you one thing. Opening your second store, and for us, we, we always say that's when all hell broke loose because I was, you know, entrepreneur working in my business versus on my business, and we were opening a store that was going to cost us about a half a million dollars as our second store. And, you know, we, we, we had deadlines that, you know, were late. We were buying a whole quarry of, of marble from Italy. They don't work in August, so it didn't get shipped. And so, you know, to make a long story short, we were three months late in opening. We had no system. Systems. We had no structure, and you learn really quickly that when you walk down the street and every second person wants to talk to you about, you know, excuse me, you know, do you have a minute for me? I just wanted to tell you about my service. So what I learned was consistency, and you know, you you have to do it right. You don't have a lot of chances. So, you know, opening our second store was probably the most difficult. After that, is easy. Did you have that same experience with Dale? Uh, it, it happened so fast that <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say. Uh, uh, I felt again quite fortunate. Uh, some of the people who, who know me know I'm uh, an, an optimist, so uh, everything that I do is always kind of uh, 100 miles an hour, uh, with never ever thinking there's it's not going to fail. So has there been hiccups? There's been hiccups, but uh, but it's been smoother than uh, than I think I could have expected. Okay, what did the second one teach you that helped you go to six and a half? Oh, yeah, by opening the second store, it definitely uncovered any sort of uh, issues. Like you realize when you start to scale how much you're actually involved in the operation of your business because the minute you can't be at two places at once or be able to provide the time, the same time you do at one store, it definitely was an eye-opener for us. It uncovered some things that we needed to build some more system and policy around to, to reduce headaches. Growing should not be a headache. It shouldn't be, when you open a new store, it shouldn't be a new set of problems. It should just be the same thing. So that's the, the secret sauce that we're still working to try and figure out, but that's how we were. And system is really important for your ability to have grown this uh, as well, Evelyn, right? I, I think for the size of our company, I think we're very systematic. I, I think anybody that comes into our company always says, like, wow, you guys have everything covered. And, you know, we learned the hard way, and we, we had to get to this level, especially with our, you know, because we, we have three different models. We, we're manufacturers of products. We run salons and spas, and we also run academies and schools now. So there are three very distinct business models within one model. So we have to have different um, training programs. We have to have different, um, I mean, even different marketing. E every one of them is different marketing. So, you know, everything is segmented and very different. Yeah.